Hello challengers! Today's focus again is going to be the right arm, but we're joining several ideas together. So we're working on the relaxed right hand, right bow fingers, right wrist, as well as tone. So a few times we've had a few exercises where I said don't worry about the tone. Our entire focus on, is on the mechanics of the hand, how loose the wrist is, what our fingers are doing, and connecting uh, the bow movement with that. So today we're putting that all together because what I want us to focus on now is using the wrist to create smooth tone because that really is the essential uh, point of using the wrist in the hand. So if we want a really smooth tone or a really connected jig, we're going to do that by using the wrist to connect the bow movements down, up, down. So what I'm going to do is put all three exercises in this one video. If you're advanced, I'd like you to do all three. If you're intermediate, I'd like you to do the first two. Beginners, you're starting to focus on a long whole bow. And what you're doing is playing A, 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 E, E, E. So waltz tempo, just like your uh, Highland Lullaby. But focusing on connecting each bow, connecting each bow. Because one of the hardest things to do in the beginning is to connect the ideas. So instead of playing A, A, two, two, E, E, two, I want you to make it sound like you're singing. I saw my baby lying there, lying there, lying there. And that's going to come from connecting the down and the up bow through a fluid wrist and forefinger movement. So watch this. So whether I was playing a down bow and switching to up, or an up bow and switching to a down, I never came to a full stop. So now, once you get comfortable with that motion, I want you to switch it to three A strings and then three E strings. exercise keep running it until you find that you're not stopping if you find yourself playing this there's too many stops you want to connect those bows and not through a slur but through what we call per perpetual motion letting the wrist and the fingers connect to the switch in bow direction if you are an intermediate fiddler you're going to take the same idea with your jig tempo you're playing jiggity 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 and your goal is not to let it sound like ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta ta but la da 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 la da da la da So instead of... So we don't want that detached sound. We want to be able to dance to it. And the way you're going to do that is, again, don't let your bow come to a full stop. So here, I would like you to work on a slow tempo. So it comes back to that idea with the pencil of feeling like you're pulling and pushing and pulling and pushing. my forearm, my wrist, and my hand are all in union. They all work together, as opposed to just my forearm. So this way my forearm is driving the motion. So try and connect all the joints. That's one of the brilliant parts about having all these joints, is that we can make fluid tone with it. If you're an advanced player, I'm charging you with this exercise. So instead of just playing cross strings, which we've done before, We've worked on the egg beater. Now I want you to turn that into triplets because in order to play triplets, you have to stay very relaxed. So you're going to change your exercise to. So down, up, triplet, up, down, triplet. So you're 
whole purpose is to stay as relaxed as possible. And one of the things we haven't talked about, but is fundamental to what we're doing for all of you fiddlers, no matter what level you are, don't stop breathing when you're playing. If you come up to a hard part or you come to a part where you go, oh, I don't know if I can make it through or I might squeak, keep breathing. Breathing through our playing keeps us relaxed. The minute we hold our breath and we play, everything gets tight. So we'll focus a little bit more on that tomorrow, but that was your right hand for today. Drop me a line, let me know how it's going. I would love to hear from you guys and we'll see you tomorrow.